everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda if you're new here and if you're not new here, thank you so much for subscribing and if you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to me and make videos every Sunday. This week I'm going to show you how to make a cute Christmas outfit, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, then just keep on watching. I also want to thank everybody that gave me such sweet comments about why I wasn't here a couple weeks ago. Um, as you would have seen in the description box, I lost my grandpa, but um, he's not suffering anymore, so it's it's all good, guys. It's all good. Um, and then soon after, my daughter got pneumonia, and she's recovering just fine from that. And then, guys, we found out that my grandma had a heart attack, um, and she's having to do a triple bypass surgery the 11th of December. So if you would please just keep her in your thoughts and prayers, I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you. So let's just get on with the video. I will have all the materials listed in the description box, but here is just a look at what you're going to be using. The first thing I did was take a long sleeve shirt that fit my child, and I went ahead and traced it out onto paper so that I got my pattern. After the pattern was made, I'm going to take my knit material and make sure that the stretch is going um, the width of the shirt. Then I'm laying my pattern out on the fold and I'm gonna cut out two. Same thing with the sleeve, I'm gonna lay it on the fold and cut out two. Now we need to take one of the sleeve pieces and lay it flat so that we can measure the bottom edge. Mine is eight inches, so what we're gonna do is double it, which would make mine 16 inches. And then I'm gonna cut out two rectangles that are six inches wide by my 16 inches long and cut out two. Now we need to base stitch the top of these rectangles. Now take the bottom two threads and go ahead and ruffle it to the length of the bottom of the sleeve. Put them right sides together and pin them along the bottom edge. and sew it. Repeat on both sleeves. Now taking the shirt piece, we're going to go ahead and put the front piece and the back piece right sides together and sew them at the shoulder seam. Now you can open that up. Go ahead and take a sleeve piece and put it right sides touching the right side of your shirt. Go ahead and match up the point of that to the seam and then pin it along your armholes. And then you just sew it. Again, on the other side, put your sleeve right sides touching the right side of your bodice, matching up with that shoulder seam, pin it all along the armhole, and sew it. Now it's time to put your bodice inside out with the right sides touching. Making sure to match up all your seams. And sew the sleeves and sides closed. Now it's time to hem your neckline and your hem and also your sleeves. And we're finished with the top. Now I'm going to take my Christmas themed material and go ahead and cut out 
a rectangle that is 22 inches by 14 inches long and I'm going to go ahead and mark that on my fabric. My fabric is actually on the fold so that when I cut it out it's going to be one long rectangle. And then I'm going to cut it out. Now that I have one long rectangle I'm going to go ahead and put right sides touching Sew down the seam. Once that's done, I'm going to flip it to the right side and I'm going to go ahead and hem the bottom and hem the top, but I need to make a casing for the top that fits my elastic. And make sure to leave a two inch opening. Once that's all done, I need to take elastic that fits my waist measurement and go ahead and put that into my casing. Once it's all the way through, go ahead and sew your elastic together, put it back in the casing, and sew your casing closed. And now this is with it just the top and the skirt which is also cute, but we're going to take it a step farther. You need to measure over the shoulder from the waist and mine is 23 inches. So I cut two fabric 23 inches by 25 inches. I made my ruffled pieces 14 inches longer than my measurement. Go ahead and take the 23 inch wide, the one that goes over the shoulder, and go ahead and iron the two sides up about a half an inch. And then we're going to iron it again in half and repeat on the other one. Then take your ruffle piece and go ahead and finish off the edges and base stitch the top of them. Once it's base stitched, you're going to go ahead and ruffle it and you're going to keep ruffling until it's the same size as your over the shoulder strap. Once it's the same size, I'm going to go ahead and start pinning it together. Just putting that ruffle inside of it and pinning it down. Once it's all pinned, go ahead and top stitch it down. Now we're going to take our strips and go ahead and pin them to the front where we want them placed. And then turn it around and go ahead and crisscross them in the back. Pin them in place and then sew them on. And here it is guys, my Christmas outfit that is so customizable. Just get any fabric you want for the holidays and just make it your own. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being understanding of why I've been having such a hard time. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you.